Pickaxe. Hello there and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we try and solve your complications. My name is Lydia and I'm joined by my two good buddies, Ravs and Harry. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello, hello. Doing well. How are you doing, Lydia? Oh, I'm all right. I am um I am I am insomniaed up to the balls. Oh fuck, really? Yeah, yeah. How are we talking? I went to sleep at 8 a.m. Oh my god! Holy shit! I think that's a nap. Officially, that's a nap, not a sleep. It's a, yeah, it's more a nap. I'm sort of in a weird yeah. like fugue uh, state. Yeah, I, like I don't feel. I feel really like out of it. Um, well, for the I don't know for the last couple of weeks, I just can't sleep. Like I will be exhausted during the day, like so tired, and I follow all the rules. I don't take a nap. I blah 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 blah. Do all that. Get yeah. into bed. My brain has got six songs playing. It's thinking oh, about this. It's thinking about that. It's wondering what I'm doing for this. It's wondering, it's pondering. It's it's absolutely flummoxed by stuff. And I cannot switch my brain off. Till, oh my I, I would say that, like, it's till about 6 a.m., but last night was particularly bad. Um, Have you tried, um, I don't know, taking some, like, drug <laughs> just say so you try and get fucked up <laughs> you try um, to get it really <laughs> fucking stoned i don't know like, have you tried any kind of medication for it or something like that's crazy melatonin tablets or anything so i haven't today i'm gonna go to boots and buy some sleeping tablets because yeah. i like cannot function like this it's absolutely like breaking my brain um, oh my god you could always do the classic and just try and push it round. So you just keep staying up later and later until it's eventually normal. <laughs> until eventually I'm going. Well, yeah. I think also, I think a big thing about it, right, because I actually did think at 8 a.m., do I just stay awake? Um, but until like the next evening. Um, but I think a big thing of it is it becomes very mental. Like because I am now so aware that I struggle to sleep. Yeah. That even if I am like exhausted, like absolutely so tired, so ready for bed, the second I go into bed, it's almost like I get anxious because I'm like, oh no, it's time. You know, oh, fuck. You, you know, you struggle to sleep. So this is it. You've got to try and sleep. And the more, and it becomes more of like a, a mental thing keeping me awake because I'm so aware that I struggle to sleep. And I, so that makes me not be able to fall asleep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I kind of just need to be knocked the fuck out by something. <laughs> My suggestion would also going to be like, can you do like something physical that would tie? Are you out? Do you know what I mean? Like that's usually like that's a great way of just passing out, just being exhausted, yeah. right? Yeah, like, like physically. physically. So yesterday I was going to do that. I was like, I need to go for a really long walk, but I was so tired from not sleeping the yeah. night before. Chicken and egg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That I just did not have the energy to go for a walk. I was absolutely exhausted. So it's like, yeah, exactly. It is like just a, an absolute cycle. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking get some drugs. <laughs> I'm gonna just, get some drugs. Just drugs. To be honest, that should let's just help out. Like melatonin tablets, not me on my damn ass. So you have to get those uh, prescription, don't you? Melatonin. They oh, don't, I, uh, I just got mine in France and brought them over. Ah, uh, cheeky. Yeah, I got some when I was in America a few years ago. They are really good, but yeah, they don't they don't just hand them out over here. You gotta you gotta say please, please, doctor. Please, me, me, and, me and Harry are going to France. We can get you some. <laughs> you some, my drug so, yeah, we can bring you some melatonin back. <laughs> yeah, I can Wait, put them I... in my. I'll put them in my bum. I was about to say, I only want them if if you put them up your ass. That's okay. why am I, why the fuck it. am I offering? Ravs is here. What the fuck am I? What am I saying? Hey, no, you you brought it up first, sir. You love want, it. You want to shove things it. up your no, ass will, this episode? No, I will put them up Ravs's bum for him. There you go. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Like that. Everyone gets, everyone's winning apart from everyone's me. Everyone's winning. No, you're winning, Harry. You am know I, you're is winning. That a win? Is that a win? I think as a W. Is it? Oh, it's your bum rubs. Of course, you're gonna say it's a W. <laughs> For you, I think it's a W. You can't grade it. You can't grade your own bum a W. That's I can. <laughs> I got the W bum. It's, w it's bum. So, yeah, so much, so much confidence going to therapy. This young man. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta really, we gotta take him down a couple. We gotta take him down a, a, a peg. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sake! Yeah, me and Ravs off to France soon. That's gonna be exciting. Oh, wee oui, wee, oui, sacré bleu! What are you doing in France? Doing a, I don't doing know. A brand deal, video <laughs> shoot thing. I don't, thing. I don't really Techno. understand. Yeah. But we're going to France, Lydia, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. That is cool. That is very cool. Part of France I've never been to as well. Montpellier. Yes. Ooh. Wait, have you not been to south of France? No, I've only done Paris. Oh, hey, Paris. I'm so Francis. Nice. I mean, to be honest, it's the nicer bit. <laughs> like, Ooh, I, I, lovely. I'm kind of imagining like, beautiful vineyards and like nice, like you know, like 
kind of like hmm what, what, what's like that architecture old, like like it's maybe mediterranean old mediterranean old orange roofs old towns yeah. you know that type of shit that's kind of what i'm picturing in my head I remember it being very warm when I went there, but it was also very windy. And I was like, oh, this is kind of the worst combination. Oh, (laughs) really? Hot and and sweaty, but like constantly being like blown a massive gust is just like kind of a nightmare. So hopefully it's not windy. When you've got long hair and you're constantly battling with it in the wind. Long hair and wind is like, fuck my life. It makes me not (laughs) want to have long hair. I don't know about you. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, it's so annoying. I just got a fucking haircut. I'm so happy. (laughs) Wait, Ralph, the one day we're going, it's raining. Oh, <laughs> it's 24 oh degrees out there at the moment. And when oh. we arrive, it instantly rains. Oh, no. That's oh. sick. Fuck Sad. my actual life. What the what? fuck? Fuck France. Fuck you, French people. <laughs> I'm such a fucking Francophobe. I don't care. I'll say it. <laughs> fuck this shit. When are you going? Uh, we're going on the 20th. 20th okay oh, so like oh man that sucks maybe yeah. i'll change is there enough time there's enough time for the weather to change it's only the 10th everyone everyone go outside your house and blow south so that we can okay. blow the weather away from montpellier All right. please and thank please you please and thanks please please, please, lord. <laughs> please lord jesus christ maybe that's what you need Lily. you need like a trip because traveling's quite exhausting oh yeah and then it also and that really so traveling messes up your body clock as well so maybe it will mess up my body clock to make it a normal sleep pattern you yeah, know i think you should just try all the things like what are the things that mess up your body clock like getting really drunk messes up getting your body drunk clock. yeah uh like, anything which is like having too much uh caffeine late in the day like drinking yeah, so coffee like, having coffee to like 5 a.m Five five a.m. Five a.m. But then that's wait. I don't. I want to have it in the evening, so I can't sleep. Oh wait, no wait. I want to have it really early. You're right. You you're right. Before your before I'm your trying to make myself bedtime. sleep. Okay, you also yeah. want to like just sellotape us like a smartphone to your face. Oh, blue light. I like blue that. Blue light, just like constantly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, loud I could, music. Now, loud music. Uh, making sure I see uh sunlight. Get one of those sun lamps and. Blast yep. it at me! At and just the, reverse the, its timing. Geez, oh. Reverse its time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Extremely loud alarm clocks going off erratically. Constantly. This sounds like the recipe for sending someone insane. And yeah. just for a laugh, just like travel to Heathrow at six in the morning because that's always <laughs> yeah. like just but on, like, on, but on, a, but on a mega bus because it will be oh, one of, yeah, it'll be cheap and you won't waste much money. But you know, it's going to be just a nightmare. It's just miserable. Yeah. Okay. And what's something that makes you sleep no matter what? Like. Um, that shit is making you snoozy. Physical and mental exhaustion from torturing yourself. <laughs> I, I, I haven't done it myself, but probably heroin. Probably heroin. heroin. Right, yeah, probably to Afghanistan heroin. and go and get some heroin. Okay, torture myself and then get heroin. And like, then imagine that'll knock you out. Yeah. That'll probably make me real sleepy, won't it? Yeah. Right, um, right, good snooze that. Right. Oh my God, the best sleep I've ever had. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I can always count on you for some, for some, some great advice. No, no, I won't, uh, no what, worries. What I Fine. do though is just I just I'm like, cool. I'll just go out and I'll get drunk and then I'll be really drunk and I'll just sleep. <laughs> that, I mean, it, you know, there's there is a reason why nightcaps are a thing, right? People, you know, people have booze to to get them yeah. sleepy, but but it's a it's a contradiction on itself, right? Because when you get really drunk, you sleep really badly. You wake yeah. up loads and like you never have actual like deep REM or whatever. So it's like it helps you fall asleep, but you sleep badly. It, but, am I am I bad that I kind of don't give a shit about all this sleep like sci-fi <laughs> nonsense, like <laughs> REM, like your fucking sleep patterns. really. Like I you, just, what? I just don't fucking care. Like I just like, like your it's... eyes taped open and it's like automatically <laughs> scrolling like Instagram reels for you. <laughs> I just feel like I can't, I sleep and it's fine. Like people are oh. so fucking like nerdy about their sleep. Like I didn't. Ha- I only went into deep sleep for one hour last night. I feel oh. awful. And I'm like, but you you feel awful because you're over analyzing it and you're picking right. up like you know you're looking for the for the gray skies when everything else is blue. Just fucking don't think about it and it's actually pretty good. You mean when you have those like those apps on your like your watch the watch yeah, or whatever, like, which will say like, track their fucking sleep. And yeah, because like, like, I feel like it's that kind of like negativity of like, oh, I slept really badly last night because my watch told me. It's like, well, if, if yeah. your watch didn't tell you, would you know? I feel like you just set yourself up to have a shit day. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. There's definitely going to have some mental impact. Like if you see it and it says you slept badly, you're going to think, oh, I'm tired. I slept badly. Um, whereas you might have slept, felt tired anyway, but it's definitely going to compound that, you know? Yeah, it's going to play on your mind. Like mm. I just feel like those things aren't good for you. Like yeah. I heard they, they are, it comes out as net bad. Man, when you wake up though at the exact beginning of a REM cycle or whatever, oh. like it's so good. It's like you just woke up after a coffee. It's just like I'm awake and I'm present and there's no lag and it's fucking great. I don't think yeah. I don't think I ever have that. Like, like I never wake up being like bam. I always wake up like, Bleh. but so I don't know if I, that means Harry will love this that I'm waking up at the wrong time of my REM nah, nah, cycle. Fucking voodoo yeah, you magic. Are. Get your you fucking are. sleep voodoo out of this podcast. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't got time for it, Lydia. I don't care about this fucking sleep voodoo nonsense. Like it's just fucking sleep. Stop trying to. People are trying to fucking read into Harry. everything. Not everything needs to be a science time. It can just Harry. be fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> scientists say that that sleep is more important than well it's always been more important but they're linking it to uh serious health conditions and oh, life how and mental boring. illness just close your and... eyes for a little bit and then you open them like <laughs> i can't it really Harry, isn't that complicated that's the problem. Guys. i can't do that <laughs> i know but take the sellotape off and take the fucking phones out of your eyes and <laughs> there's a website i used to use sleepy time uh sleepy but it's now called time. sleepopolis and you go to it and you're like and you're like, what time do you want to wake up? And you put it in and it'll tell you like when your cycles are or like you hit sleep now. And it's like, if you go to bed right now, uh, try to wake up at this time and stuff like that. And that will right. wake you up at the cycle. There so, is, yeah. yeah, there's apps that do that. They're meant to like yeah. wake you up. They like, they're meant to like tell when you're starting to like wake up because you move around a lot and then mm -hmm. wake you up because that's your no, life I'm just having sleep. a nightmare let me enjoy my fucking fearful <laughs> just, terrible just, terrible dream I'm just terrified <laughs> yeah like also how do you like like I can't just it, sleep doesn't work where you can just be like I'm going to sleep now like that, if that that's if that was thing, how yeah. sleep worked like this is the fucking major bullshit of all these things Cool, this is great. I'm on this website. It says if you want six cycles, you've got to go to sleep at fucking midnight. Okay, brilliant. How? How, How? do you actually do that? I will go to sleep when I fucking pass out. Like yeah. when the day is done. That's that's the thing. I That's why I've never been able to master a nap because they all say you need to sleep for half an hour or 20 minutes. Well, I'll spend half an hour, 20 minutes trying to fall asleep. So how am I supposed to set an accurate alarm when I might have only fallen yeah. asleep then for five minutes or like, how do you make yourself fall asleep for the exact right amount of time? I can't like, it's a science I cannot get. I was just saying, I go through cycles of like sleeping so good and then so bad. So I don't know. I, I, I used to be a little sleep nerd and do the app and everything and set He's my alarms. He's a fucking for sleep scientist. Stuff. Look at this guy. Yeah. Well, seven uh, seven apps, two fucking rings, one w fucking wristband, five fucking <laughs> sleep trackers. Well, no, my, my, my sleep is shit, though, so I'm like looking into the science to try and fix that shit because like, I don't get enough sleep. Uh, and I, I find it hard to get to sleep. Sometimes I just like doze right off, but I just you know, feel like any, it gives anything me, that helps. It gives I, me I big, like, you know, fucking, you know, those American, like, scam nutrients fucking. Oh, you know, yeah. Mm. It just gives me big that vibes. Like, I'm sure there is mm. science behind it. But I feel like all these apps and fucking wristbands and fucking cock attachments to help you sleep better. <laughs> just don't. Just aren't. It's oh, just I mean, voodoo. <laughs> Shit is yeah, voodoo. Just... Oh, it doesn't the alarm's work. ringing. Like, <laughs> the alarm's ringing, is it? I don't, I don't want to say... That's our, just our, a vibrating cock ring. I don't want to say our <laughs> other like, P word of the podcast outside of pegging. But I think a lot of it is fucking placebo. Like, yeah. super placebo. Wait, wait, wait. What do you think is placebo? <laughs> precisely I, I know i think i hear a lot of these like you know uh i'm gonna go to sleep at this time and it's gonna feel perfect i'm sure there is hard science behind it but i think mm -hmm. so much of it is just placebo that you've you've gone into it with a good mental attitude you feel like it's done you good and you, you've woken up and felt right. better because of it. do you know what i mean no, it's interesting like, yeah no 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 i, 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 never, I yeah. honestly do believe the power of positive mental attitude is like insane and just these things are just ways of tricking your brain to having it so if you were to like wake up and just think i'm okay i'm not tired like if you can kind of trick your brain into it it will yeah. have a lot more power than like seeing an app which tells you that you're tired kind of thing i mean i woke up at 7 a.m this morning which is like a fair bit earlier than i usually wake up oh my god i, I was still up. awake when you woke up <laughs> that's cute that's cute we like cross wow. timelines <laughs> it's, so we crossed. it's we like crossed. two multiverses <laughs> crossing over in spider-man um <laughs> I, I, like 
but I went to bed maybe. I, I mean, I probably fell asleep at like two in the morning, probably. Oh, Harry, that's not enough sleep, but darling. I woke up and was just oh like, my God, I was in bed before you, Harry. Holy shit, I was in bed at half one. No, I was in bed like from 11, but like, I, mean, yeah. I probably fell asleep, I don't know, at like uh, two or one or something. Five hours isn't enough, Harry. But like, I woke up and was like, I got, I got a fucking, I got a meeting to have at 7 a.m. I got to fucking do this shit. I feel fucking fine. Fucking inhale a cigarette, shove some coffee into my eyeballs. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> but five hours, Harry boy. It's not enough for a young lad such yeah, as yourself. Yeah, but that's not every day. It's just like a little thing and just like, you know, oh, oh I slept for five hours. I'm so tired. Like, shut the fuck up. You're, <laughs> I'm just going to shout at the people who listen to this podcast. Oh God. You're fine. You're not Tough tired. Love, Harry. Just cope. Just cope your way through the fucking pain. It's not hard. <laughs> Where's the sympathy? Where's the love? Where's the tender Fucking nurturing? spend your sympathy on Amazon and buy another fucking wristband. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna God, I, bet, I bet you fucking hate all these mattresses and everything as well. You probably hate all oh, that dude, shit. It's just, I just honestly think so much of it is that they're just trying to fucking find ways to sell you more shite. I really don't. I really, I, objectively, a mattress can be more comfy and be nicer and probably be better for your back. Is it going to make you fucking come while you sleep and feel, oh like, my God. Like feel amazing? Probably not. Fingers crossed. No, Think, no. Probably not. No, no, Lydia. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Try to buy these mattresses. <laughs> like, I can't believe you. Wait, so wait, you guys like. I, I absolutely guarantee you there will be a mattress out there that can make you come while you're sleeping. There will no. be. There will be one. No. There will, I, I swear there will be one. Well, I guess if there's one that vibrates and you just lie I mean, flat Ross, on have it. You, have you ever come while you slept? No. <laughs> Wait, You've isn't never. that just a wet dream? Yeah. No, no, I don't think I've ever actually had a wet dream. Oh. I think I may have had one or two in my entire life. And that is like, it's honestly, it's honestly one of the worst experiences of my fucking life. <laughs> really? Not, oh, it's just like was it the fucking... mattress? Did it get you off? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a two grand mattress. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, why was it the worst experience? It's just like, you wake up and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, we're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell? It's like I'm the gist. worst surprise ever. <laughs> I just can't imagine like waking up being like, oh, I just came, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's not happening. I mean, it's like pretty dope that the body could just be like, it's time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Off you go. It's fucking time. And like that doesn't wake you up. Um, yeah, it's kind of the worst. I don't know. That I'm is, interested. Yeah, it is a funny thing. I feel like we haven't had many questions about this. If people have experiences about that, send it in. I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Um, we want to. We want to know about your. <laughs> let us. Dreams. Let us know when you came. <laughs> Honestly, Lydia, some of the things that people write in about, it's fucking well. This feels better, doesn't it? Actually, yeah, it's actually quite tame compared to some well, of the stuff we get. Of, speaking of fucking weirdos writing in, should we answer a question? Yes. <laughs> Can I read the fucking horrific one? Otherwise, I feel like it's going to play in my mind forever. I feel like the, that question should maybe be like the last question. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to lead with that one. I don't want everyone to just turn off immediately. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Yeah, this is but... good though. This is this is now we should keep this in that we've talked about this because yeah, then people what's... will be like, yeah, people are going to be like, oh my god, I can't wait for the last question, and you're going to be fucking horrified. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll end on that one. Let's let's start a little start a little nicer. Hello, zero degrees. I'm a professional Lego builder, part of a small private company in the UK. My job is great. The pay is good, my hours are reasonable, my colleagues are all nice people, but there's one problem. One of my colleagues slash friends, whom I spend eight hours of the day with, is a chronic farter. We build <laughs> models in a moderate-sized warehouse, uh, so there's a fair amount of room to breathe, but me and my colleagues all dread the few hours after our lunch break when the farting begins. We'll, happily, uh, we'll be happily placing bricks down, building away, when our colleague, who I'll call Stinker, lets rip. He sits on a leather chair, so it's basically amplified, and he doesn't seem to care at all. There's music playing most of the time, and we think he thinks we don't hear him do it. But we do, every single time. Sometimes he'll walk past us and fart basically at head height, which without Aww. a care in the world. Jesus. They smell, and he makes zero effort to be discreet. So my question is, how do we go about getting Stinker to stop? Passive-aggressive comments? Straight-up confrontation? You tell me. P.S. He also spends about 30 minutes in the toilet each day, and it's our only toilet, so we have to wait. God. What, what a great job, though. 
I, well, well, first of all, let's no, talk about yeah, the job. Kind of, kind of sick job what building Lego all day. Crazy job, yeah. A professional Lego player, a uh, builder. Man, yeah. having yeah. the dream and just complaining. Yeah, I feel like you're just trying to fucking nitpick your dream fucking job, bro. Like, is this <laughs> us if we complain about streaming shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is your monkey's paw for fucking <laughs> yeah. um, for, for getting landing what like everyone would say is a dream job. That is a crazy uh, job. How to become a Lego master model builder? The job lets you play with Lego for a living. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a job. I had no idea yeah. this was a job. I was gonna say he says he says that he works for small private companies. So I don't know if he actually works for mm. Lego, which is even more insane to me. Like, who is he building like Lego sets for events or for museums or something? Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. You know, like you know, a wedding. You know, you build a custom Lego cake or something silly. Yeah. I wonder if he's doing that kind of stuff. Yes, that's a good point. Something like that. It's probably like a small business where like companies and events will message them and say, "We need you to build a you know six foot." Um, yeah. Uh, fucking snowman we wanted to build our, our company's event. building or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah, they'll yeah. make it for them but yeah I never even thought about who would be build it that you know that has to be a job that would take fucking ages and, and planning it and everything I know becoming a master Lego builder is really fucking hard the one you were talking about it's complicated mm. like it takes like you have to like prove to them that you can build all these different structures without glue and stuff like it's like it, it seems like a dream job but I think it's like I think, yeah, you need to have, like, an engineering degree and yeah, you probably, probably need, like, no structural integrity and all that shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm reading through, like, what you need, and it's not just a case of, like, you turn up and build a little house, and they're like, you're hired. You, you know, you need a portfolio. You need all this, like, stuff to show that you do these... Up, I don't know. It's long. It's, like, a, a big uh, uh, thing that I can't be asked to read right now, but it's not a case of, you know, not turn simple. up and go... Yeah, you've got to like really prove that you are. Yeah, I guess you have to be like the best at the best, right? I guess they have no shortage of people who want to do that job, really. You yeah, know what I mean, for they're, sure. they're not out there like recruiting it. They probably just have millions of applicants every year. Oh my god, I bet. Oh wow, so you can look at Lego certified professionals. So these okay. are like uh, the Lego certified professionals program is made up of adult Lego entrepreneurs who have turned the passion from the Lego brick and system into a full time or part time profession. And then they've got like all people around the world who are like, oh, interesting. They're, you know, oh, like wow. the Lego person for that. Like Europe oh, and the Middle East. There's two in the UK. So one of them might be this mm. company. Yeah, so um, one of them's got a farty stink boy there. Oh, yeah. Which one's? <laughs> I'd like to, we're going down the route of basically just doxing this question us. <laughs> Let's find him. We're going to find him. Oh, this man. guy looks like he would shit his pants at work. <laughs> no. But yeah, I, I I think I was right. That looks like these two companies in the UK, both one of them makes kind of Lego oh. for events and workshops and stuff. And the other yes. one looks like it does stuff for kids. For kids, yeah, it's like a, chari a charity. So yeah, yeah, the guy that the Brick Galleria, uh, they make Brick Galleria is a professional Lego brick model building and creative problem solving company in the business of creating memorable and engaging models out of Lego bricks for all manners uh, of your events. So yeah, that's exactly what they do. They Lego make... is so fucking awesome. I'm oh, so, so cool. I'm so sad that like I feel like I've probably played with Lego too young. I don't know, you guys like I feel like I was so excited by it as a kid that. I kind of fell off it a bit as a teenager, whereas I yeah. feel like I wish, I don't know, it's one of those, I, I kind of just wish I still loved it and played with it as much as I want to. I think when I, so I used to play with it when I was really, really little and I remember, you know, you just had like a, a kind of like a clear plastic box full of a mishmash yep, of tub. random things, the tub, yeah, <laughs> and you would just make like a shitty half room or whatever and then give up, but now... There's so much cool stuff that you can, like the kits you can buy. Um, mm. I love how much it's expanded. I mean, we could get back into it, Harry. We could buy ourselves a cool little Lego kit. No, it's and, impossible, you know. Lydia. No, there's, no? No, there's no logical <laughs> way to get back in. I was not a Lego boy. What? I, I was a Kinects boy. Oh, I loved my Kinects. God. This, Kinex. Is, no. this is the biggest self-report Ravs has ever done on the no. podcast. Dude, Kinects was fucking sick, dude. Are you kidding me? We had that shit in our school. It was awesome. What? How do you, what, how do you spell it again? I want to look it up so I can remember. Um, K-I-N-E-X? K-apostrophe uh, N-E-X, uh, I think. That's it, yeah. yes. Yeah. Like, Kinects was cool, but it wasn't Lego, dude. This yeah, is but, you know, we didn't have Lego in my school, and like, I'd never really bought Lego. Like, I never asked. I never asked Santa for Lego. What you do know, you mean I was asking like, Santa for? 
I was asking for like connects and what's that? Not track mania. The 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 cars one. Oh, uh, Skylex. 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 Yeah, Skylex. Sk- I had Skylex. It was fucking I, great. I love Skylex. Skylex was fucking awesome. I got to build like like cool like tracks all over my house with my dad. That was fucking awesome. The days that you took over the living room were the best days of childhood. Yeah, it was fucking <laughs> awesome. Did you guys yeah. play with um, Brio as kids? Like as young, young kids? Oh, I don't, what one's that? I don't, what's it's that? Like, I it's like scale electrics, but wooden train sets. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I, oh, wait, you know what? I actually think I did like fuck around with them a couple of times, but I never really like... I think Brio yeah. was what mainlined me onto scale electrics. Of so, like scale electrics, you need to yeah. like hammer stuff a bit. Like it's a bit more like technical. Whereas Brio was just like... I have so much brio and it's time to build it all around the house. <laughs> like, yeah, brio's like baby, like when you're like toddler, yeah, a little yeah. bit more, like that's your starting block of like Yeah, when you get bored, you little... just chew on some of the wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. what, was the, what was the magnetic stick one as well? I remember playing with that. It wasn't quite Lego, but it was like... I always thought that one should have been better than it was. I never thought it found yeah, it that it wasn't. it wasn't that great, but it was kind of fun. I don't know what that is. I can't magnetic remember Magnetic right stick now. toy, what was it? It was like it was like there were colourful sticks that were kind of like tubes. And it had like plastic had... squares you could fill them in. Yeah, with. Geomag. Yeah, and... Ge- yeah it's like it Geomag or something. Geomag. Geomag was that it? Boys? Something like Geomag. Yeah, yeah, Geomag. Oh, I, think I never played with that. I didn't. I don't. I never seen this before. It was just like long, colourful magnet tubes that have like plastic covering, and then on the end you could like attach them to balls. You had a lot of stick, stick shaped toys, Ravs, as a kid. Hmm? Yeah, you stick, have, you love those sticks. Very stick coded. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will say with connects, you you could not that I physically could, but you could make like banging cars and stuff like that. I don't think I had the know how to make vehicles, but. The, the people that the kids that were good at it could make really cool cars yeah. with them. Some motherfuckers could make like Ferris wheels and shit. I remember yeah. someone made a Ferris wheel with one of them. You could make really cool stuff. I, I had a, you know, like memory unlocked literally when I couldn't sleep last night and I was mindlessly scrolling Instagram. Uh, this Maybe you guys wouldn't have had this uh, or it might have been before your time as I'm an old woman. Did you get, have those bears that came with the pen and you could like, Basically, draw oh tattoos all over them. That fucking reason. No, I remember watching the advert I, I, for I, that. Bit, I saw the advert for sure. Uh, how do you? What even search? Can't search bear tattoo. Bear toy tattoo. No, that's just bringing up more tattoos. Bear toy you can draw on. Okay, doodle bears. Doodle bear. Doodle I, bears. I, as a kid, I found shit like that so weird because I was like, but I love my toy. I don't want to draw on it. <laughs> oh, and I was like, I don't yeah. want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin my fucking yeah, toy. Yeah, it's so pretty. Um, they were, it's like 90, I feel like they first came out in the 90s. Yeah, they were like a 90s thing, so I would have been really little. Um, but yeah, I love what I was having those fucking blasts from the past where you remember a toy that you just completely forgot existed. Yeah. And it's like... Holy shit, like proper memory unlocked, like click noise in your brain. I remember I accidentally flushed my Batman down the toilet once <gasps> and that was a traumatic experience. How? How, what the f- <laughs> how, how do you do you, that? I, what I don't know fuck? how the fuck I managed it, how? but I, I did. I, I just remember traumatically that like, my gran was taking care of me. I was like, gran, I flushed Batman down the toilet. <laughs> and I was like crying and shit. <laughs> also Wait, just like Batman? the poor pipes. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of Batman? Is this like a big figurine? No, it was like a like he was like a little handheld like you know action figure. Right, Batman. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I re- like a twelve inch doll. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, yeah, no, just no. Stuffed just like, him oh. down there with your leg. Uh, your foot. Yeah. Stamped him in. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's going down. <laughs> he's gone. Kind of like the size of like a wrestling toy or something. You know, like a small. It's quite right. big. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean that's so. a powerful flush. You should be proud of that. The pipe that you had in R.I.P. Pretty... Batman. I was like, I just remember when Tamagotchi was fucking huge, and you couldn't yeah. buy one for love or money, and it was so expensive. And my mum and bought me like the my brother had a Tamagotchi. I had like the rip off fake version of it, which I was happy to have because you know just little sister like oh it looks like that one. Uh, and we went on like one of those canal boat things, and my brother like had it in his no. pocket, and he leaned over, and we saw the Tamagotchi just oh, fall God. into the water. And I you know like the Simpsons clip where you can pause it and see when Ralph's heart breaks in two. I yeah. still remember my brother's face of his heart breaking into like he was not getting another one like That's that. So that was sad. it. It that was gone so forever. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel awful. That's awful. Yeah, I just remember Batman flushing down the toilet, and I remember having a Woody from Toy Story helium balloon 
that I was <laughs> taking home and I accidentally let go of it outside oh. my house and it flo- floated off and I could see Woody flying away oh. and I remember he died. breaking my heart. He died. He died. Oh, that is actually yeah. really sad. Because you'd be thinking, oh my God, he's talking and he's screaming. He's screaming because yeah. he knows he's going to die. Yeah. <laughs> and he's scared of heights, Ravs. <laughs> Uh, oh wait so the farter yeah well how do we enough nostalgia trip let's solve Mr Fartman what do we do here the fart man Uh, I mean firstly uh, this could be like a whole medical thing like I I think it almost certainly is you've got to be a little bit careful but that being said I think you should all as a company agree to eat beans and things that make you fart and you just fucking outgas him like oh, I just think no. you just this is, a, this is a this is a chemical war and the oh only way you god. win a chemical war is by having more chemical weapons. Oh my god, but what if he doesn't care? I mean he's already just farting well, with Well then at the bare minimum at least you're like nonchalance. At least you're sniffing in your own farts and not someone else's. Oh, that makes me want to wretch. Well you <clears> still <throat> sniff in his farts and everyone else's farts, because everyone's farting. But I think it's better that everyone does it together, Lydia. <laughs> no. I think that's better and nicer. <laughs> No, it's not. That's I would so rather bad. that I would rather that just farting was like completely socially acceptable and discussed and like normal in that office than one person be ruining everyone's life. I oh okay, okay. well all right <laughs> no I disagree. <laughs> That's fine. You don't have to argue, you don't have to articulate your disagreement. I get it. <laughs> I just don't think everyone should be farting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I think it sounds like not to diagnose this person without knowing them at all. But I mean the the fact that this person says about a couple of hours after they eat lunch they start farting. They, it sounds like they have an intolerance to something right, and it's it's making them gassy. Um, which is unfortunate, obviously, uh, but also really horrible for the people who have to work with him because that's not really very pleasant. And I I feel like what you should not... Ideally, in that scenario, you'd like nip to the loo or something. I don't know. I don't know what... Other you, than, just, you don't crop dust to some fucking yeah, guy's head. Yeah, you certainly don't like, walk past someone and fart around the, right, the head height. That that's is grim. Crazy. That this is person crazy. doesn't that care. Is, that's like an actual, like, fucking... That's what I'm saying, it's war. A, it's fucking that war. That is war. Like, <laughs> that is war. But this person doesn't seem to care. No. Like, like which... Unless they really don't realise they're doing it, you know? Like, it's so... Uh, like they're just so used to farting all the time, they don't even realise they're doing it, giving them the benefit of the doubt. But I don't you know. have to realise... Yeah. I don't. Do they not get embarrassed? Like, because, uh, like, you know, if they're farting a bunch, of like, oh, there he is, fucking stinky fart Pete again. Like, if you just keep no, saying oh, that to you, them... But you could, then you're mocking someone for potentially, like, a medical, you know, they might have, like, oh, IBS or something. Oh, I didn't think about that. Like, you, that's where you have to be careful. That's why I think the yeah. only... You, like... Unless you have like a manager who can be very kindly, like, yeah, or could you leave like an anonymous note? But then, okay. like, okay, do you like we have to do like newspaper cuttings? Otherwise, people oh, yeah. we have to like trace your handwriting, <laughs> trace your handwriting. What if they look at the CCTV and, and see you put the note down? You have to post, like... post the note in to work. <laughs> Whoa, hold up, whatever you just sit there with a little like Febreze, and every time they fart, you just squish it. Okay, so you're wow. saying like passive aggressive, passive like, aggressive squish, yeah. Is it something that can be like tackled at like a secret Santa? Do you know what I mean? Through like the medium of like a comedy company moment, you can give him like the biggest fucking farter award, you know, at a secret <laughs> Santa or something. And like that's a way of breaking the ice on the farting nonsense. It's it's so hard because it's I think it's such a sensitive subject as well in the sense that f- farting can be seen as quite something like quite embarrassing, right? You don't know whether this person is going to take it as a, a like laugh, like oh fuck, sorry yeah. guys, or if they're going to be humiliated. You just don't know which way it's going to go, and that's why it's so hard to play. Like if they were your mate, if you knew them really well, then you'd be like, dude, like stop ripping, like you're fucking ripping off constantly. It stinks, and you would like jokingly shame them, and and you'd have a laugh about it. But when you don't really know that person, how the fuck are you supposed to like approach it? The way they phrase it as well, it sounds like they kind of don't like them. <laughs> like obviously because of yeah. the farting, but like it, it doesn't. Sounds they, like that. they don't make it sound like they're like you know, wow, good old chum, lovely to see Jerry yeah, in work my, again, the farting bestie. idiot. Like it, it sounds like yeah. he sucks. Yeah, like definitely if it was your mate, you like like you know if if I was sitting next to Rabs and he was just farting away, I'd be like, 
you know, like you just fucking stink, man. <laughs> like yeah. take it outside or whatever. And we yeah. joke about it, but with the, with someone I didn't really know very well, I couldn't say that. I absolutely couldn't say that. Like, what the and fuck do so, you say? And, and you have to see this, that person every day. It's so you yeah. cannot. It's just one of those things where you cannot afford to fuck it up. Yeah, and even if you like, even if you say, okay, well, you have to don't don't like say it like in a in a gentle, caring way. What do you say? Like, hey, dude, I just want to say like, um, you're. You're farting a lot and it really smells like <laughs> you can't let I feel the like fuck do yeah. you gently break that without it being really embarrassing? I think I think the toilet thing is something you have to pass over, right? Like I don't think you can yeah, really like Yeah, as people can't help. You can't really if control they that. They need to use the bathroom. But I think like, if he does an especially loud one, you can be like I feel like you would be within your rights to be like, bro, do you mind? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like not super yeah. confrontational, but like in a moment where he's done something that clearly everyone's heard, it's awkward, it's not all right. Like, I think giving him that opportunity to be like, I'm saying fart shame him. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> fart just shame the fuck out of this stinker. Because it is rude, isn't it? To not even say excuse it's just me. In, it's inconsiderate, yeah. I think. It's like if you burp, you'd go like, oh, excuse me, or whatever. You would like, yeah. you know, I, like, excuse yourself. If he's like, the, the, if he's not making an effort to cover it up, to apologize, to. It's just kind of gross. If they're spending half an hour in the toilet, it could be a medical thing, or they're just like lazy at work. Is. But like, maybe they're just like you know slacking off at work. Who knows? But it could be a medical thing. If like, like if 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 it's a medical thing, fair enough, they can't help the fart. But like, if it's if it's them just being lazy, like why can't they just go to the toilet and fucking fart? Like, the trouble is, you really don't. This is like this is the most cash money job ever. You really don't want to fuck yeah, this up. That's like, true. You like you don't like no rock in the boat. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you got to be so careful. Actually, like any of these things could put you in the firing line. It's like bullying, workplace workplace harassment. Can you be fired for farting? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I wonder if you could say it's work. You could say it's workplace harassment from them. But then I guess if it is a medical issue, you can't fire fire him for that. Oh, you God, maybe like you it. give him like his own like farting booth. His <laughs> farting booth. The thing is, I think the main <laughs> problem with this, right, I'm inclined to believe that this guy does have some kind of food intolerance or, or a medical issue, right? So I, I, I truly feel sympathy for him. But the thing that I cannot get my head around is that he literally walked past and farted at head height. That's crazy. And, and it stinks. Like, That's a crazy that thing is to do. That is so unnecessary. That's yeah. what makes me kind of go, oh, come on, dude. Like, Yeah, he's, ag it, he's oh. aggressive with it. That is like what if, what if you get up, you need to fart, you go over there, you pause right next to them, <laughs> and then you wet rip a disgusting fart and you stare oh. them in the eye as, as you're farting and you don't say a word and you just walk on after. Uh, what? So you're starting a war then? Yes, you're yeah, starting, yeah. You're, de you're right. doing a silent declaration of war. I do think the silent. The, I think the war strategy has legs, because I just feel like, what are they going to do? What, what's he going to do? Complain to HR that you're fucking farting at him? Okay. Yeah. Well, right. HR's probably bored of this guy farting as well. <laughs> I, you got to be careful, like building a kind of a coalition against him, because that can be like workplace harassment. Yeah, for sure. Like that's fucked up. But a solo, a, a solo spy mission to go and drop a nuclear fart at his desk every day. I mean, who you know? Who's to say that's not just your the way you walk around the office? Who's to say yeah. that's not you know? It's perfectly normal to fart over there. If if it's me, I'm just I'm just passive aggressive with it. I think I'm like covering my nose with my jumper, like I'm going like whoof and shit like that. Not directly seeing who it is, but Jesus, like I'm looking disgusted. I'm spraying Febreze. I'm like doing little things that are like, oh, that's so gross, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I like that strategy. <laughs> that's dukes. I Sorry, I've absolutely fallen down the rabbit hole of Googling, can you Farts. fire someone for farting? <laughs> yeah. And I've just ended up on like the, this Quora page of like, could employer fire you for continuously passing gas in an office environment and all these people weighing in? And it's just really interesting. Um, what do they, what do they but, think? Uh, so some of them are say, well, okay, in the US, most likely, yes, they could fire you for passing gas in an office environment. Certainly if you are going around farting on purpose or making jokes of farting, if you have a medical condition, they may be required to make a reasonable accommodation for you. But failing that or failing a reasonable accommodation, if your gas is making all of your coworkers jobs difficult to perform, they might have no choice but to terminate your employment. I mean, this is from some random guy on Cora. So I take it with a pinch of salt. 
Um, but there's lots of people saying, no, they can't. And people saying, well, yes, they can. You can be fired for anything. Our, our poor Lego building friend could, you know, if it was so bad that it was disrupting their work, they could argue it's like constructive dismissal. You know, they, they, it could be bad for the company, actually. What, what if no one can perform their job because... Well, if, it, you know, if, if he literally... If it's so disgusting, he can't work, can't concentrate on work and can't do his job, then it's kind of constructive dismissal. Like, I, I think the thing is the responsibility to actually solve this isn't on you unless you are the manager slash HR person. Like, this is an issue that you probably should very subtly and anonymously report. Yes, and, actually, and yes. That's, that's why those, that is why those functions are there at a company. Yeah, the yeah. Trouble exactly. Is, the trouble is this company, I'm, he says it's a small private company. I imagine it's a tiny private company. You know, we're talking uh, maybe five people. So there's not much, not much headroom mm, to kind of go to be to, to be an anonymous reporter of Jerry's farting when you know. <laughs> Jerry. The, just the room you have to chat about Jerry is next to the fucking stinkertron yeah, himself. He's, yeah, he's like, just listening to it all. Well, <laughs> no, my farts. <laughs> this one, this one's been a fucking stinky question. Uh, yes, but hopefully that's resolved for you. Hopefully you can win the war. Uh, I I would say so. Just I would say. D- d- talk to the manager just say it's affecting my ability to work it's very distracting it's like not a nice environment you know yeah. i really f- i feel for the guy uh but is is there anything that can be done i know it's embarrassing but it's you know it's very distracting there we go bing bang yeah. bosh it's out of your hands but you have tried to like do yeah. something about it and then crop us to the fucking fuck out of jerry yeah yeah fuck you jerry well <laughs> before we get into the horrendous final question there's a very short sweet one to clean us up a little bit Dear lovely Zero Degrees hosts, small question. Do you use liquid soap or bar soap in the shower and for hand washing? Personally, I have liquid soap in my sinks for hands and other people to use, uh, for other people to use, and bar soap in the shower that only I use. Uh, I'm a a liquid soap on my hands girl, 100%. Mm -hmm. Um, You know what? I do like a bar soap in the shower, uh, but sometimes it dries my skin out. So maybe more actually of like a, a shower gel kind of gal, personally. Yeah, I'm liquid all the way. Liquid like, all the way. I I personally fucking hate bars of soap. I, I think they're like, they really gross me out. I yeah. don't know why. I, they I feel, feel like less just, like hygienic, don't they? They feel so unhygienic. And I'm sure they probably are, but it just, and I'm sure they're probably more effective than, than liquid stuff, but I just, there's something about them I really, it really doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, I don't know. I can, it feels gross. Yeah, someone's like dirty, pissy, shitty hands rubs it to clean their hands, and then you rub it to clean yeah, your it just hands. Doesn't... So yeah, like I to know one hundred percent, I'm liquid the entire way. I think it's kind of like sure you're still touching the top of the thing, but then you're cleaning your hands after that. So it doesn't mm-hmm. really matter. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. like, there's still a passover point, but like after you touch the passover point, you're then getting clean. Whereas the the bar soap just feels like it just it's gross. Probably, it probably is clean, but like, it still feels gross. I think it was a very early question we had in about like, was it pubes on a bar of soap? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's a real throwback to like maybe one of the first episodes. Yeah, but like, I feel like that question has stuck with me ever since. Of like, it really described my like ugh, gro- grossness of bars of soap. Gross Wait, stuff can get stuck in it. When is our anniversary again? Is it April or May? May. I feel Did like May. Something in my head says May, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's been a it's been a bit of fucking long time. <laughs> is that yeah. two years? Jesus. <laughs> Holy two years. It's in May. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot cleaner after the fucking fart question now. Why'd you have to it's... mention it? Fuck. But you know, the, the, we just got a little bit of liquid soap on, got it off ourselves, right, no we're pubes clean. in our, our okay, liquid nice. soap. Okay, right. All right. Harry, I don't want to fucking read this one. I'm you not reading it. Fu- Harry <laughs> yeah. demanded yeah. we added You're this. You're going to fucking That's read this one, true. Harry. That's demanded we do this question. That's not true. I said it was a crazy fucking question. A cra- like, it's crazy. It's a it's a crazy fucking question. Viewer discretion is Viewer device, discretion is heavily device. advised before this question. Yeah. Heavily yeah. advised. If heavily. you're listening to speakers, put in headphones. Hi, guys. I never thought I'd find myself in such a predicament that would cause me to ask the help of free zero-degree bums like yourself. But here we all are. 
Last weekend, my girlfriend of two years stayed over. She'd been on her period in the days leading up to coming over, but assured me that it ended on the morning she was she was to arrive. Now, we hadn't seen each other in almost two weeks, so both were feeling pretty horned up. But as she was just finishing her period, we thought it best to wait until the night before we got up to any shenanigans. And that <sighs> we did. You all right? <laughs> just, <laughs> okay. I, I, just the exasperated. This, this, this question... You just know where this is going. I just know where this is going. Like, this, 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 this this going. Alone, yeah. You know where it's going. Yeah. Uh, so roll on the night. We have some drinkies, more than a few. And well, we get all frisky. My favorite part of sex is going down and eating her out. So Beast. I must spend a good 15 plus minutes cleaning the bean. Uh, she clean, good 15 minutes plus Christ. cleaning the bean. She comes multiple times. This guy is just like Giga Chad flexing. Giga Chad flexing. What a flex? <laughs> what a fucking, fucking flex. Fucking paused mm. mid-question to flex. Pause, pause so mid-question. That is like so the worst question you've ever read to just flex. With fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or gal. We don't know. Um, to be, to be completely honest, I don't notice anything too strange while I'm down there. Don't forget, I'm very drunk. Anyway, then we go on having sex for a while before both passing out in each other's arms. About 8am, I woke up absolutely bursting for that early morning pee. I run into the bathroom, put my boyo out, close my eyes and let the taps open. Now I'm all done and I look down to what I can only describe as something that would fit on the set of a Saw movie. My lad is covered in blood, now dried. I'm sorry that I even have to say this next part, but there were some tiny coagulated lumps of blood trapped on my short pubes. This is when <laughs> I remember. I was eating her out. My heart sinks. I feel myself getting faint as I walk towards the mirror, trying to compose myself for a second before looking up. And well, guys, I had a nose like Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> all over my face was covered in blood i didn't know what to do so i jumped straight in the shower and sat there for what felt like hours before getting back into bed and laying beside my beautiful girlfriend until she woke up needless to say i could i just couldn't tell her if i was this mortified i could only imagine how she would feel uh, as she would feel about it so guys what do i do should I tell her? How do I avoid this from happening again? She was so adamant her period was over and I just don't know enough. I just don't know enough or want to question her. She should know her body by now, right? We're both in our early 30s. Please help Mr. Bloodlust. Mr. Bloodlust. Okay. Come on, look, Mr. Bloodlust, brother. You can't be naming yourself. That's what come I know. On. It's a self-titled uh, <laughs> signing at the end. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I in this situation, I I feel like I wouldn't have went to bed covered in blood. I feel like I probably would have noticed. I feel like he I would have noticed. Like, he was I, really drunk. Oh, and it was, was in the dark. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I would just like tidy myself up and not say anything. Honestly, I think it's one of those classic scenarios, right, where you didn't say it at the time, and now it's fucking weird that you, if you were to raise it later. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. yeah. I I just feel like it's better for all parties involved if you just clean yourself up and you just move on. Uh right. Okay. As the lady uh, okay. of the podcast, As, please, Lydia, yes. take the floor. Yeah. As someone who has periods, um, I what I can think what sounds like happened here is sometimes, right, you think your period is over and it's not. Like mm -hmm. you think like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. it's finishing, it's done. And then out of nowhere, bing, bang, bosh, a little bit more <laughs> comes to say hello. Like, it, you know, it, yeah. they're very unpredictable. They're is, not, that quite, you know, they, is that quite common? Uh, yeah, I think it can be. I mean, it depends. Every, like everyone will have mm. different cycles and different, yeah, you know, yeah. intensities and things like that. But I think, you know, it, it certainly can be a thing where you think it's over and it, it it's a little bit more is is waiting in the wings. Um, it sounds like that is what happened with this, uh, this girl. Um, and I'm sure she would be fucking horrified if she knew and so embarrassed that this mm. had happened because i know that i would be so so embarrassed i mean it's not her yeah. fault like there's no it's yeah, not, not, not her fault at all yeah I mean, we're blaming her i think mean, he's blaming her too no like, it's just no no not, no no it's, no. Not, it's, not, it's not, not not her fault at all i'm sure she hasn't gone into this being like oh i'm still on my period but i'm gonna go for it anyway and any and she probably the next day would have seen that there was still some yeah, blood and been like oh. knows. i think the fact that he thinks yeah. she doesn't like yeah yeah, yeah. There's no way there's not going to be some blood and she's not going to think, ah, shit. 
I'm imagining him like, you know, hung over writing this in bed and he hasn't like looked under the covers. I'm just imagining it's like, again, a saw scene under the covers. Like, bro, yeah, I'm pretty that, sure there's going to be blood. So if there's picturing. blood on your face and like, and on your dick, then there's going to yeah. be blood on the fucking pillows. There's going to be blood fucking everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I imagine if it's near the end of her period, it's probably not going to be that heavy. Um, it's probably enough to sort of go on his hands, uh, sorry, on his like a bit on his face and uh, on his pubes, but probably not to be everywhere. Again, mm. I don't know this person's <laughs> cycle intimately, but I d no. if it was the end of the period, it's not going to be like blood everywhere, basically. It's not going to be like heavy, heavy. Um, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't like all over the sheets kind of thing. Um, but I'm, I do think she probably knows. I do think she would have woken up the next day and been like, uh, uh oh, you know, there's still there's yeah. a little bit of blood going on here. And it's probably very embarrassed and just hasn't said anything because she's hoping you didn't realize or she's too embarrassed to bring it up, basically. Um, In that scenario, would you then want, would it be like a point of comfort if the, boy, if the boyfriend was like, like, would that be like, uh, oh, that's good. Okay, we're, like, we're past it. Like, that, we're, that's like not an awkward fucking you know stay awake at 8 a.m thinking about that one time this thing happened you know, yeah moment. oh god i don't actually know i'm not actually it feels like, to me such, like such this kind of w weird wacky once in a blue moon occurrence that you can kind of just put it into the gray matter and never think about it again <laughs> yeah i i mean yeah what your, your best case scenario right is that you just don't bring it up she doesn't bring it up you both yeah, forget it happened best case. And then next time you want to have sex near the end of a period or whatever, she, she, you guys are just a lot more like vigilant and probably wait until a couple of days after she's actually finished. Or I, oh, I don't know. It's hard. Like, yeah, maybe have a little check. You know, I guess you were drunk. You were saying <laughs> you were have drunk. A, have a little dip I mean, test. If, you, if, you, if you're down there. Just you don't want to get pussy, all... you, you don't want to get pussy PTSD. You don't want to start associating yeah. these like traumatic experiences <laughs> with the pussy. That's not good. Yeah. You're oh gonna get God. pussy what? PTSD. Jesus. <laughs> what would you guys do in this scenario? Would you be uh, horrified? Like I'm interested to know. No, it's like a normal fucking thing, right? Like, but still, I, it's, 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 no, I think it's pretty. I think waking up, also just waking up and seeing blood on your dick is like not a fucking funny experience. Like, that, yeah. you don't not want funny, that. But if, my my yeah. blood or someone else's blood, either way, I'm freaking out a little bit because blood's on my dick. <laughs> like, yeah. well, well, what what point are you asking about, Lydia? Like, the next morning, if it's us, like we wake up blood on our dick and face. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just interested to know, like, are you like, oh, God, this is vile, which you are absolutely I, in your right to be. I'm, of course, going to be like, oh, my God, get this off my face, yeah. and, like, off my dick, like, you know. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna come in and be like, what the fuck? Well, how dare you? Like, what no. have you done, woman? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> have you never, I mean, in, ever had any kind of incident like that where, like, because I, you're, you're saying like blood on your dick is the I think the blood in your in your mouth is the gross thing. Like yeah, surely you've blood on your fucking, dick before. Yeah, I just think I think my brain would try not to think about that bit because that yeah. bit would probably yeah. make me do a chud. Yeah, I would probably I would probably like a little bit in the yeah, in the fair. bathroom. But blood, blood on yeah. the dick, it's not fun. It's not great. I mean, maybe yeah. some people are into it. It's not for me. I think it's kind of you know it certainly grosses me out. I need mm. like uh, yeah. a fucking. I need like a good five minutes of staring at a white wall to just like reset my brain after that <laughs> yeah. happens. Because I'm like, what the fuck? There's blood oh on my, my dick. <laughs> <That makes laughs> this me, is crazy. As, so, as someone I like, you know, that we have to like, fucking have blood pouring out of us every fucking month. It's okay, like, imagine, it's... imagine, imagine blood didn't pour out of you every month, and then suddenly blood was like all over oh, you. Yeah, you yeah, would be no, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck is ah! happening? Why is there blood? Yeah. Like, yeah, no, no, no. You're right. Also, you're fair, you're fair. I, it's just... like one of those moments. Like if if you see like jury sex, it's like more terror. I I feel like I was the a couple of times it has happened. I was more terrified that like I snapped my banjo string. Like I broke no. my dick. I mean, I was worried oh that it was God. like my bleeding. Like Jesus. because in that moment you're like I'm way more anxious that like I fucked myself up than like yeah. oh no I have pure blood on my dick. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. no, I'll wash it off. Like it's yeah. like oh fuck I fucking. There's this famous story of the guy who snapped his dick in half. Oh Ugh. God. He like he was just like you know having sex and he fucking you know. With his, with his girlfriend and was like trying a bit too hard and then he like I can't remember what it's called like fractured his dick or whatever it has this amazing <laughs> it's an old internet thing it has like this amazing blog post with this cartoon dick that's like you know bent in the middle uh, and he like went to A&E no. and his dick was like like bent in the middle and ever since then it's honestly been just the biggest traumatisation in me of one day I'm going to snap my dick and it's going to oh. be very sad is that is that a true story or like an urban legend I think it's a true story 
man's uh, bent <laughs> penis, penis in half. You can, that penile fractures are a thing. It feels like it's one of those like internet, you know, like uh, urban legends that gets passed around. <laughs> I just typed penile fracture and like just looked at images and the, the illustration's so funny. Oh God. Wait, is, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm trying to search, but honestly, it's hard to find it because there's so many news stories about things like this happening. It's not, it's like, it does happen. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. Sorry, I, mean, I, I don't mean that um, it, that you can't, like, uh, injure or, like, fracture your dick. Because, it's, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a thing. But, I mean, can it actually, like, like, like snap? <laughs> if you see what I mean? Like, in two pieces? <laughs> the, the, how you're I, describing no, it I mean, kind like of thing. The, like the, well, no, because, like, the skin will probably remain. But, like, the, the, oh. the, the cartilage muscle can, like, get, like, ripped or whatever. No! Oh my god, no! I've got a new this story is, here. Oh. Bricklayer snaps penis in half during vigorous oh. sex romp, leaving his him <gasps> covered in blood while try while crying for baby. A bricklayer oh desperately god. tries to become a dad, breaks his penis in half during overly vigorous oh. sex. No, um, I'm like com I'm I'm like holding myself in a hug, like I'm comforting myself. This is this sounds so horrific. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm, a, I'm an any mode man. <laughs> yeah, my my shit's turtle heading hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like you got to be careful, and it's a big fear. Like so, seeing blood—that's what I'm saying. So, blood on the dick is scary for a man because when you read some of those stories, you're like, "Oh my god, I do not want that to happen." Like, also, I just don't want to go to A and E, sit there for five hours holding my fucking dick that's ripped in half, waiting for some fucking woman to come on and be like, "Ah, oh, we're alright, well, let's fix this." You know, fucking what a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking nightmare. Oh my god, that is yeah, that is like next level nightmare. Jesus uh, fucking Christ. So if anything, it's a it? relief. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just period great. blood. Oh, no worries. My dick's not snapped in two. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what I I, I... I honestly think it's just a case of wake up in the morning, go fucking wash it off and shit and go back to bed and like not even talk about it. It's be like, oh, you're all right or whatever. You know, you're right, just love. Keep, keep moving. I think if it happens again... Then you say, oh, like, babe, I think um, maybe it wasn't actually the end of your period. Just so you know, we should probably like time it a bit better next time. But, but like, be, you know, nice and sweet about yeah, it. Yeah, I think so that's she's a, correct. You know, and then that's, it's done. And then she'll be like, oh, what, how do you know? And you'll be like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, it was nothing. Like, it just isn't blood. Like, done. No, no. Like, you say, what was it? There's coagulated blood on my pubes <laughs> and my nose looked like Rudolph the Red Nose Rented. And that shit gave me, Christ. that shit giving me that pussy PTSD. Like, I. <laughs> <laughs> you use it's those like, words. It's like, Nam, you can't make me go back. <laughs> Alternatively, uh, what if you go buy a Dracula outfit and just pose oh, at the end of the bed? No, <laughs> no. Crazy, crazy. Oh my god, have you have you seen Saltburn? No, no, I've not seen it. Okay, there is a scene there. I won't describe it, but it really matches the uh, energy of this uh, this question, nice. is all I will say. Jesus um, Christ. Those who have seen it will know what I'm talking about, but I'll leave it at that. But yeah, I like that. The, the, the Dracula. Dracula. That's a good one, Raps. Just do that. <laughs> just, uh, just dress off as Dracula for Dracula. a laugh. And Honestly, like, it, you know. he's making a come multiple times. I think he can do whatever. Well, I think yeah. he can fucking say way. whatever. That's why he's fucking golden. Absolute fucking <laughs> what, a, what a fucking brag. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that in this disgusting question, like, by the way, made her come several times. Like, it's okay. such an that unnecessary was, part of the story. I won't lie. I, I, like, of all of this fucking insane story, it's the only bit I kind of don't believe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he just thinks he's doing a great I, job. Yeah, I believe every other bit of this story is real. Yeah. The Rudolph nose, the coagulated blood. Oh but no, she's, just, she's just sitting there as he just fucking. <laughs> Fucks it up. <laughs> He's just doing it wrong. Uh, well, uh, I would. I think uh, we've had some great ones today, and I'd love some updates on this one. I'd love some updates on the brick layers, on the brick, brick building, Lego brick building one. What yeah. doing with the Fartertron? Really to know. We want to um, know. Let us know. What a stinky episode. Well, hopefully, we'll carry this energy over to uh, to the Am I the Asshole? Yes. <laughs> We're about to go record yeah. for Patreon. Um, which you haven't already. Speaking of Patreons, we do, we're answering uh, the Patreon submitted Am I the Asshole for the first time. Be pretty yeah, cool. they, sent in, they sent in a little Am I the Asshole, so Ooh. come on over and check that out. Yeah, um, patreon.com slash zero degrees. Thank you for your support. Thank you so yeah. much, everybody. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we'll catch you all next time. See you next Bye -bye. time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>